What's up, everybody? No. How we doing? Woo. Sorry, you must, have, you must have misunderstood me. I said, how are we doing? Woo. Better, better. Welcome to Startup Week in Milwaukee, second version of Startup Week in Milwaukee. Uh, my name is Adam Hahn. I am the facilitator. I've been uh, in Milwaukee since Friday afternoon. I flew in here from Seattle. I, I work for Up Global which is the umbrella company of Startup Weekend. Um, originally from Chicago, then I moved to Seattle about six months ago. Uh, so I'm really thrilled to be back in the Midwest, to be back where I grew up and home for me. So I wanna give a special thanks to all the organizers, especially Matt for having me. It's been great so far. Hopefully we will end off on a good note. Um, with that said, I wanna take one really quick minute to give recognition to the organizers. If you organize part of this event, please stand up and wave at the audience. Let's hear it for the organizers. You guys are amazing. Without the organizers, this event would not be possible. So again, special thanks to all of you guys. And speaking of organizers, I am going to pass it over to Matt, lead organizer. So we can't make this event happen without some sponsors, and we want to recognize them. Um, so let me start out with Godfrey and Khan and have uh, John and Mark from Godfrey and Khan wave to everybody. Uh, these are some great attorneys, um, headquartered in Milwaukee. Um, check them out at gklaw.com. I uh, also want to thank Whitfley. I think we have Greg and Shay uh, from Whitfley back there, uh, accountants and CPAs and consultants. Um, we could not have had such a great event without UWM, their support, and the Zilber School of Public Health including the Dean and the Chancellor who helped make this happen, as well as Michael Hosted, one of our co-organizers, who I believe is still somewhere around in the building, locking it down. Um, so big thanks to them, as well as Generator, their local accelerator program. We've got Joe as a judge. Um, several other portfolio companies are around here, so that's awesome. Here's some other sponsors. We've got the Golden Angels, uh, Dream Milwaukee, Derek Johnson. Shout out to Derek. Um, First Business Bank, they are a great supporter. Second year as a sponsor, American Family Insurance, Innovation Milwaukee, as well as Upscalability. We've got Manoli right here, he's a judge. Um, Startup Milwaukee, as well as Polymathic, a design firm. And uh, so, on to the judges. Got to introduce these guys up here. Uh, first, I want to introduce Manoli Kulitmanis. He is the co founder of, well, the founder of Upscalability. Um, he's also an angel investor as well as a former executive at Miller Coors. Um, Mark Witt is an attorney and partner with Godfrey and Kahn. Joe Kurgis, a co founder of um, Accelerator Program Generator. Andrew Heft, uh, founder of a company called uh, Pinpoint Software. They make two products, DateCheck Pro as well as Taskle. And Tim Kohler over here, he is the chief financial officer of PKWare one of Milwaukee's uh, awesome startups uh, that has now become a really awesome uh, software company. Um, and also a member of the Golden Angels. And Adam. Yeah, let's hear for the judges. You. So before we get going with the presentations, I'm gonna really give a quick rundown of the history of Startup Weekend, for those of you who don't know. Uh, it started in 2007 uh, in Boulder, Colorado. And a couple of months after that, it started to grow into other cities. Uh, in 2009, it became an official 501c3 nonprofit, and we started to go global, as you can see. So, um, in those past four years, Startup Weekend has had over 1,250 events, over 100,000 attendees in over 100 countries, 550 cities. And throughout the world, there's over 2,000 global organizers, people like Matt and Alicia and the rest of the organizing team that made this event possible. And these are a handful of cities that are also having startup weekends on this specific weekend. So aside from Milwaukee, there's also 20 other cities throughout the world that were having events on this specific weekend. Uh, and none of that would actually be possible if it wasn't for the startup weekend global sponsors, which are the companies you see here. Uh, Google for Entrepreneurs is an entire department of Google that focuses on early stage startups, focusing on early stage entrepreneurs, people like yourselves out in the audience, people who are trying to get their start to the next stage. So Google for Entrepreneurs, they're a huge supporter 
a startup weekend. They sometimes cover event venues. They have coaches come to the events over the weekends. Um, big, big supporters. Amazon Web Services. So every participant got an AWS code for $100 to use the Amazon Web uh, Cloud space over the weekend. Um, dot .co, same, same uh, offering through dot .co. They actually offered free URLs for all the attendees throughout the weekend. And Coca-Cola, not really a tech company, but a huge supporter of startups, huge supporters of innovation, reinventing. Coca-Cola has been one of the more successful companies over the past century. So they're a really big sponsor and supporter of what happens at Startup Weekend. So um, yeah, and the, I don't know, I guess the cool thing about these companies is all of them at some point in their own journey came out as a startup. Every single one of these companies, they know what it's like to go through what these teams that are about to present have been going through in just this weekend. So they know all the pain points, they've been there before and they're really supportive of that. So that's them kind of giving back and supporting as much as they can. So with all that said, the teams that are gonna be presenting tonight, we have 15 teams. Uh, I think everyone is in for a treat. I want everyone to keep one thing in mind is that all the teams that are going to be presenting tonight, they didn't have anything built prior to the weekend. They showed up Friday night they had 60 seconds to come up in front of a group of 100 people, pitch their idea. We voted on the ideas. We narrowed it down to about 15. Those ideators went out and they formed and recruited team members to help build their idea, turn it into an actual MVP, building business models. All this happened just over the course of the weekend. So while you're about to see these presentations, that's one thing I want you guys to keep in mind. Uh, this is the criteria that they're gonna be judged on. So these judges have been debriefed on what to expect in these presentations. The actual presenters, same thing on Friday night, so they know what these judges are looking to hear. So, with all that said, who's ready to see some presentations? Yeah. 